simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager, FRM. Part 1 of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management and the theories that underlie their use. Delineating efficient portfolios. Someone asks money from you and says that he will invest your money in a horse race and if he wins, he will return three times the money given. Now will you lend money to him? Some might say yes, while some will reject the offer. It is the concept of risk and return. They go hand in hand. If returns are higher, risk will also be higher. It depends on how much risk appetite the individual has. So in this lecture, we introduce the concept of risk and return in which the investors maximize their return for the given amount of risk. This is done through logical investment in an efficient portfolio, a concept that we will learn very soon. Agenda. In this lecture, we will learn some important concepts in risk management. We will begin our discussion by learning some important concepts of asset returns and volatility. These concepts have been discussed in detail in the quantitative section, but it has been included here as a prerequisite for the lecture if you have not learned these concepts yet. Then we will learn about plotting two asset portfolio curves and see the effect of different correlations on the shape of the curve. Finally, we will learn about efficient frontier and effective portfolios and see how shorting and combining risk-free asset into the portfolio changes the shape of the curve. Prerequisite We invest our money in order to get some return. There are many assets in which we invest our money. We can purchase gold, stocks, bonds or a property. All these assets provide varying returns and have varying levels of risk associated with them. The expected return is the return that we can expect from the asset over a period of time. In general, it is measured from historical data by taking the average of past returns. Suppose the average return from gold over the last 10 years has been 6% annually. Then we can expect to earn this return in the next year. The mathematical expression for calculating an expected return is given in the slide where E times X denotes expected return, XI denotes return in period I, and N denotes number of periods. Prerequisite While investing our money, 